and welcome to Rob's Rules of the Rules of Simple. They're ours. I'm here and you are there and thanks for being there. I don't normally cover this kind of material on this channel. But this was such an unbelievable thing that I've never seen in 50 years of my life. I just had to do a video on it. I could not believe that I just read what I read. And now I'm going to share it with you. I'm really curious to see what your thoughts are on this. Six-year-old, that's right, a six-year-old shot his teacher. This is from CNN. I, I can't believe I'm reading this. I, I just can't believe this. Newport News, Virginia is where this happened. A sus suspected shooter is six years old, according to police. The six-year-old child opened fire in a classroom in Richneck Elementary School, sending one teacher to the hospital. The age of the suspected shooter has left a community and country reeling from the possibility that a first grader obtained a gun, brought it to school, and opened fire on his teacher. One of the questions that remain unanswered is how did the six-year-old gain possession of the weapon and what the potential legal repercussions for the student and his guardians are. There's a lot of questions that we have to answer as a community, Mayor Philip Jones told CNN on Sunday, including how a six-year-old was able to have a gun, know how to use it in such a deliberate manner. Individuals responsible will be held accountable, the mayor said. I can promise you that. The police have released few details about the student publicly. Aside from the fact that he is six years old and that he was in police custody, the shooting was not accidental. It followed an altercation between the teacher and the student. No the students were involved. The shooting sent students scrambling under their desks while parents raced to reach their children. The teacher was upgraded to stable condition. Newport News officials have also not named the victim. Her injuries were initially described as life-threatening. She was listed in stable condition, adding that city officials had visited the hospital in the recent days. It's unclear what the legal consequences the student may or may not be facing in the shooting. While it's technically possible for prosecutors to file charges against a six-year-old in Virginia, which does not have a statutory age limit, it is incredibly unlikely that it will lead to a successful prosecution. This comes from an associate professor at the University of Virginia School of Law. The defendant must be found competent to stand trial, meaning the court must find the defendant is able to both understand the nature of the legal proceedings against him and assert his lawyers in his own defense. Hypothetically, if prosecutors did file charges, the six-year-old's attorneys would have available to them infancy defense, which essentially says anyone under the age of seven can never be found criminally responsible. The student is also likely too young for a detention center if he were to be found guilty. The juvenile justice system is not set up to handle kids this young. The courts would have limited options in Virginia where one must be 11 years old to be held in custody in a state facility. That leaves open other possibilities like residential treatment or wraparound support services for the family. The student could be found to be a child in need of services, which would mean the child was engaging in behavior that puts them either themselves or others in serious risk of harm. This is the most unbelievable thing that I could imagine. A six-year-old gets a gun and because of a dispute with the first grade teacher, shoots the teacher. How did this child get this gun? How did this child know how to use this gun? Where were the parents? And how did the parents allow this to happen? There is so many questions. Forget about the legalities. Thank God the teacher is in stable condition. 
But when it comes to legalities, it's a six-year-old child. This is the most unbelievable thing that I could think of. So let me know your comments down in the comments section below of this most unbelievable story I've ever heard of in 50 years. I've never heard of a child taking a gun at six years old, shooting a teacher. So many questions. Just one of the most unbelievable stories I think I've read in this last week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time on Rob's Rules. Take care, everyone. Be safe and be well. Ciao for now.